Hello everyone. Today we are here to address an important question. How should we revise microeconomics from the point of view of DSC entrance exam? To know that, first of all, I always say that let us go ahead and divide the entire microeconomics in various small parts. Out of which the first part is consumer theory. In consumer theory, you will majorly see three main type of questions that will be asked in exam. The first type of question will be based out of the different utility functions. Second will be questions on Slutsky equation. And third, there will be questions on uncertainty. Majorly, this is the three, three, these are the three type of questions that will come from consumer theory. Now, when it comes to utility functions, you will have to do different composite utility functions also. For example, if you look at DSC 2017 paper, you will see functions like this. You know, they will ask you min of x plus y comma 2x. If you look at DSC 2018-2019 paper, you will again see some composite function, functions like this, min of x plus y, comma, plus, you know, maybe something like this, max of ax, comma, ay, ax plus ay, something, sorry, min of x, comma, y plus max of ax, comma, ay, something like this, right? Then we have seen, and this is coming since DSE, very, very, very early years. So, you know, if you remember in our classes every year from 2005, 2007, 2017, 2015, there was this very famous question we did, which was related to Miss Bijli and a min function was given, min of electricity and widgets. So what has happened is that we have done all these kind of questions, right? This is very, very important. These min max functions, these are very, very important from the point of view of entrance exam. This will definitely come in exam. This is type one of the questions that come in exam. Then the second kind of questions that you have to focus on are the Slutsky equation questions. So here you should know what is substitution effect, what is income effect, what is total effect, and you should be able to calculate these things here, right? So here one more thing can come. They can ask you question on Marshallian, Hicksian, demand curve properties. Not directly, okay? Some way or the other, they will give you this. So this is the first task that you have to do. The third is uncertainty. So under uncertainty, you have to go ahead and you have to focus on questions like risk premium, right? Certainty equivalent, etc. This question will come in exam. So this is the first kind of question. This also, this comes every year only. So they will give you different functions. This comes in IIT also a lot. This comes in uh, your ISI also a lot. So they will give you a risk. They will give you a utility function. The utility function may be of a risk averse or risk lower individual. And accordingly, you may be asked to calculate risk premium, certainty equivalent, etc. Now, 
The second part that you should be focusing on is your producer theory. Majorly in the production theory, you should be focusing on your production functions, on the cost function, on profit, on monopoly, and on oligopoly. So for example, we have seen that in DSE, and you know, you have to go through all the past year questions. For related to a particular topic so you pick up on a topic this is what i usually prefer to do so you know if i start with for example consumer theory then i will pick up all the past year questions of consumer theory first of all i will pick up all the questions which are related to utility i will do all of them at a go then i'll pick up all the questions which are related to lexicographic preferences and I will do them in a flow. So for example, you know, remember that famous question that came in DSC where they gave that, you know, there is a bundle which is preferred to another. Then what happens to the sequence of bundle? And then they gave a sequence, isn't it? So I, I tell my students to pick up on one topic, but then to take care of all the, and that is why my assignments will be not year wise DSC question, it will be topic wise. So if I pick up on consumer theory, I would want you to take care of all the DSC questions related to this topic at a book, even when you're doing revision, rather than going ahead and doing different past years together, because in that then, you know, you are not doing any single topic, which is not done, right? That's the first thing now. When it comes to production theory, so you have to do production, cost, profit, monopoly, oligopoly. Now, here you will definitely see one question which comes on ISO quant. They will ask you to derive the cost function. They may ask you to derive the expansion path. It comes every year only. And I may not give you a very simple cop Douglas function. I may go ahead and give you a quasi-linear cost function. And accordingly, I may ask you to go ahead and solve that. So it depends. Then, you know, and, and profit functions would also be coming here. Then from monopoly, I will go ahead and I will sum, you know, I can go ahead and I can give you a, a question directly on monopoly. I can give you a question to compare it with perfect competition. I can give you a question to calculate the dead weight loss. Anything, right? And in oligopoly, definitely we have questions related to Cournot, Bertrand, and Stapelberg. Now, here in Cournot, especially, what has been seen is that the marginal cost given in the past years will be different for different firm. Students only practice equivalent marginal cost. They don't consider what happens when MC is different. But you should be doing that also. That's the second part. Okay. Now, when it comes to the third part. So when it comes to part three, this third part is basically related to your general equilibrium. Expect sometimes, you know, DSC gives four to five questions also on general equilibrium. This is also one of the scenarios which happens. So you may get four to five questions from this. So what do you have to do here? You should be able to, one, calculate Pareto efficient solution. Calculate Walrasian equilibrium. Competitive equilibrium. Calculate the price ratio of the competitive equilibrium, etc. So now here the functions would be very different. For example, individual A might have a utility function like this, min of x, y. And B might have a utility function max of x, y. So you should know, right? You know, because we have practiced this so much, 
you should know that when I have one min and one max, there is no Walrasian equilibrium. Right? So this way, you should be thorough with different examples here. So that's the third part. Then the fourth part, which comes is your public economics. So you should have a thorough understanding of asymmetric information, market for lemons, then public goods, externalities, many questions, many questions have, you know, you have for practice from the past years. So, for example, I don't remember which year it was, but there was this question that came. But there was one question which merged uh, the concept of externalities to the concept of general equilibrium. And how can we merge the two? We know that, right? The only way to link these two things is to understand through first welfare theorem and second welfare theorem because we know under what conditions first welfare theorem does not hold true and then you know from there only we introduced the concept of externalities also into being right so that is where you can go ahead and you can consider these examples now let me give you a few more examples so you know i'll go to our website um, and let me go ahead and show you there. So this is from arthapoint.com. And if you go here, this is a DSC 2021 paper. And if you go ahead and you look in 2021 paper, there were both these questions actually. Every year they will ask you questions. So, so you have to go ahead and you have to see. Selective studying means that if you're studying microeconomics and in that, if you're studying the topic of externality or general equilibrium, you should be able to figure out all those questions. If I type in public good, do you see that there is this question that came and this question is exactly from my the unit that I'm talking about, which talks about public good, moral hazard, problem, altruism, risk sharing. So we should know all these definitions also. Similarly, if you go ahead and supposedly you are revising general equilibrium, then you should know what general equilibrium is. If you're revising preferences, then you should only focus on the questions of preferences. So for example, if I type in externalities, do you see I, I have a question on first welfare theorem. So I have to go ahead and revise accordingly only. It's not that I can go, I, I, I should be going ahead and doing all the things at one go, right? So this is, this is the fourth part. And now in the fifth part, I would like to go ahead and I would like to focus on game theory a bit. So, you know, although I have taken oligopoly in that part, but game theory in itself should, should be thoroughly done. So the minimum that you should go ahead and you should do is do all simultaneous games. You should do sequential game. And at the same time, you should also go ahead and you should at least please do infinite games, indefinite games or infinite games. Earlier, there used to be questions on this. Last two, three years during COVID period, they have stopped giving questions, but it can come as one of the topics. So, you know, this is how you can go ahead and revise microeconomics from the point of view of Delhi School of Economics. Okay, thank you so much. Best of luck for your exam.